It's Financial Wellness Month, and that means it's time for a checkup. Ryan McElhatton goes around town and gets to the bottom of what you need to know. If I asked you how much money you had in your bank account, would you know? Well, a lot of people don't, and that can have ripple effects across their finances. Experts say you have to know where you are to know where you're going to set realistic goals. And the biggest mistake people make stems from not knowing where they are. They're upside down in terms of income and expenses. They have more going out every month than that's actually coming in. Now they're doing this, they're subsidizing it through credit cards. Don't get overwhelmed by your financial health. Dean says it all comes down to simple math. Here's the first tip. Know exactly how much money's coming into your home every month. Then figure out how much is going out. How much goes out the door? These are all of your bills. If you pay insurance once a year, average that out 12 months so you know exactly what your monthly nut is. Your final step is to evaluate both numbers and determine your goals for the year. Do you need to make more money or? Do you need to start using coupons? Do you need to get rid of cable? Do you need to cut back on Starbucks? Do you need to start bringing lunch to work? These are some basic things to take down expenses, but you have to sharpen the pencil if you're gonna end up financially stable later on down the road. Even if you're not in over your head, Dean says if you can make changes, it's best to do it now. It's so much easier to fix it a little right now than a lot later. Once your finances are in order, put on your hat and head to the ice cream shop because today is both National Hat Day and Strawberry Ice Cream Day. To mark the occasion, we came up with a list of the Valley's oldest ice cream shops. McElpine's is leading the pack, opened its doors in 1928, which means it's the oldest. Mary Coyle's in Central Phoenix has been around since 1951. And the Sugar Bowl in Old Town Scottsdale has been around since 1958. Bon Appetit! For the list, I'm Brian McElhatton.